Hello everybody and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within, where we are on a UFO landing mission. Actually, I brought it down, but it was with an EMP cannon, so it's still fully intact, which means I should get a lot of loot out of it. It also means there will be a lot of aliens still alive. Um, this is a training mission. Brian is the only colonel. I've even got a squatty heavy. So, uh... Just training some people up in case people are injured when I... Or in case any of them are psionics, I guess. I've got people training to be, uh, or testing to see if they are psionics, and that's why I'm missing a lot. So, usually this destruction means the UFO is somewhere over here. I don't know where the meld is yet, but let's get Brian in a position like that. And he doesn't see anything. Still don't even see the UFO. That's kind of ridiculous. Okay, so I will move Brock last since he's the uh, sniper. So Tyler's pretty fast here. He can almost catch up to Brian on this move. So let's, uh, let's get him to a cover point. Still nobody. He's also got the ghost armor. I just now realized when I had him running. Um, wow, this is actually a pretty wide area to run around. So I'll probably dash with her. Um, I feel like going up there is a bit risky. Let's see. So we got two snipers. One's a uh, snapshotter. Yeah, let's just have other people catch up. Uh, I'm not going to have the heavy run all the way over to there, even though she can. You know, she can run pretty far. She's a squatty, and she seems to already be able to... Well, never mind. I guess he just ran all the way to there, so let's just get her up here in a safe spot. Even though she's just a squatty, I don't want her dying or anything. I guess I could have Tyler scout ahead. I should go ahead and do that next turn. Um... Yeah, let's get Brock up here behind this full cover so that next turn he's farther up here. Also, I could have him start flying. And let's have her come something like that. Just kind of keep the, keep the team in a clump. Alright, we got some meld this way, do we? I see the rotating thing on my screen. I'm sure it's not visible on YouTube, but it's just that way. So let's have Tyler ghost it up. Oh, yes, please. Works. Oh, it'll work. I'm not going to put you right in the thick of something. I believe the rules are he has to be in full cover. No, none of that half cover stuff like Joya or like Austin can pull off. And the only reason it works for him is because low counts is full. Okay, we see the meld container. Four turns to get there, wipe out the aliens we just saw. So nothing new here. Like I was thinking we might run into some elite mutons. There could be some in the UFO. And we have sectoid commander and a mectoid. So uh, let's work on taking them out. So I think I will attempt to at least get something started here with them since I would like to get the meld. Hello boys. So this should allow uh, Brock to at least have some vision. So we got 70. Let's see Brock's options. There we are. 90%. And let's headshot. See how much damage we get here. 18 damage. You're a beautiful man. You are a beautiful man. Okay, so he, uh... Did anybody... Wow, you can see him? Okay, well, we've got the alloy cannon. She has lightning reflexes. So I could get up here and do a buttload of damage to this guy, but, uh... First, I'm going to take him out with Brian, I guess. I mean, he's not the one that needs the kills, but, uh... Yeah, you know what? I'll just use the lightning reflexes and suck out his uh, his move. So let's run and gun all the way up to the sectoid commander and see how much damage we can pull off. Sometimes it's really weird on what they can see even when they're right up against them like this. 
and he will miss. I hope there's no such thing as, a, as an alien that can hit a lightning reflexed person, but they probably wouldn't do that to me, right? Okay, we got 98 for cents. So there is a chance to miss, which is just stupid, but all right. Oh man, it's got one hit point left. Okay, one of Brian's grenades might finish this. Yes, okay, so I have an option like that if I need it. Uh, yeah, you didn't double tap or anything, so never mind there. And he can start flying, so I don't know why I didn't start anything like that with him. Uh, let's see, cover is no, no deal here. We don't need cover. So let's see what we can do. 56, 26. Let's go for the 56% shot. Oh, and she's going to get it. That ought to count for a lot of experience. It, it might just go per kill. Yeah, she didn't get a promotion. I feel like that should count as, like, several sectoid kills or something. Okay, let's see if you can kill this thing. Looks like you can. 59%. How about with the pistol? Even better. You only need to do one damage. There we go. Dead and gone. Well, that seemed easy, didn't it? So, uh, let's just have Brian run up a little farther. Or, actually, let's... No. I think if I get him to go up, I just don't want him to pass on it, Commander. that person. Okay, we're good. Okay, we got another mechtoid somewhere. So, here I'm gonna have Brian come get this. On the move. Because, uh, since I don't want to get kills with him, I feel like this, he's the best one to be secure. collecting. Okay, so, uh, there's one more somewhere. We can, uh, scope around for that. There's, I'm sure there's quite a few aliens that are still alive on this since I brought it down with an EMP, so... I'm expecting the second one to be difficult to get without encountering a bunch of other aliens. Especially considering I don't exactly have my best team out here right now. Uh... I guess, in order to give Peyton a better chance at flank shots, I need to get her coming this way a little bit. But it's time for some Overwatch moves. Except maybe with Tyler. Tyler can be risky because he's got the, uh... Where the hell are you? There we are. He's got the ghost armor, and yes, I am going to use it again. I feel like these early turns is where it's most useful, and later I'm not going to be using it so much. So let's see what we have in here. There's something. Two sectoid commanders. Oh good lord. Oh bless you sir. What do we have up here? Looks like... Oh, we have another. We have two sectoids and a uh, mecto... Uh, yeah, mectoid. I keep wanting to say mectopod. We haven't even encountered sectopod yet. Now those will give me a run for my money. Uh, even, especially with this team, but even my good team, I'm going to have to make sure I concentrate those down. So let's wake up this team. Hi. Not a good way to wake up, is it? Alright, so, uh... Ah, dang. So yeah, I guess the heavies are all pretty slow. Can't really get her into a good spot. That's affirmative. Yeah, she doesn't see anything from there, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and dash. Yeah, she still didn't see anything, which means they're gonna have to come out to see her. Um, they shouldn't detect Tyler, so he should be alright. It's gonna be very hard for them to mind control Brian, but everybody else... Um, since Brian needs to be close to, s to have the... Uh, leadership thing happen. I bet her will is low. It's 69, so she's not getting it. So yeah, with that upgrade I bought, Brian should be substituting his will for everybody else, and he's got 96, so she should have 96. Yep. So that's how it works. Well, let's get her up here into full cover, see if she can take a shot, at least. Looks like no. But uh, I'll go in with the pistol and overwatch from here. I guess I'll probably be taking a shot with Brian or using his grenade. 
so I can definitely take one out with a grenade. Bad thing is I might take out Brian or Tyler's cover also. I should probably just try shooting it, but it's only 40%. How much damage could it really do? Everybody's behind some pretty good cover. Uh, I've already gone into Overwatch with her, so never mind there. So who's my only move? Looks like Brian is my only move. So let's go ahead and take this shot. I feel like he can't do much. Uh, I could collateral damage here, but no one else can shoot this turn, so... And he's gonna get it. 40% you are a beast. Oh, I didn't tell her to go overwatch, but I will now. So the other sectoid commander's at full health in there. These guys... Will they see us? Nope, I just see them. But I bet Cyclops sees them. Hello, sectoid commander. Uh, he's gonna come back into view and... Oh, god! Oh, someone's getting mind controlled. I thought this was a kill him. Oh my god, and he got Brian. Oh my word. That sucks. Brian can mop the floor with any of these people. Um, so, we need to get that thing killed before next turn. Other meld is over here, but I really don't give a crap about the meld. Ah, oh god, this is gonna wake those guys up and everything. Where are you, sniper? You got a view on this... on this stomp, son of a bitch? 40%, I don't like that. Let's, uh, see if we... yeah. Let's do this. Okay, if I get her really close, she can definitely get that gr uh, well... How far could she get that grenade? That far, which means if she runs to there, I feel like she should definitely be able to get it. How about the rocket? The rocket will make it there, no question, this turn. So let's go with the, uh, let's see, that does nine damage. And I don't want to reveal Tyler right now, even though I don't know if it matters, but... I mean, I would love to get a rocket on that other group, but... I'm gonna rocket this guy just to get his cover out of the way and get better shots to the other people. And there's the new rocket. Or blob, I guess. Okay, only needs five damage now. By the way, that sounds it's just wonderful. Um, let's see, she is not going to be able to take any good cover this turn, so that really sucks. But you... On my way. Oh, they saw that? Okay. Interesting. They're flanking my position. I think I would rather have, yeah, Brock take this shot. Actually, he can see that one, so... Peyton should be able to hit here. Yeah, let's take it with you. Very good. Okay, Brian's gonna be not able to do anything this turn, unfortunately. But I should be able to get other people into good spots. Uh, do you have suppression? Of course not. He can ghost. Oh, he does have suppression. I can suppress him but I'm gonna be stuck here when I do 91, 61, 61. I could do a lot of damage to him. That's the good thing there. Uh, so, my god, Brock has barely moved since the very beginning. So let's get this guy. Oh, dang, he missed. Yeah, that was my reaction. Um, now, will this trigger... Of course, you do have lightning reflexes. I don't know why I keep acting like it matters. Um, the thing is that this thing will be able to really hurt something. So let me just see what this gives us. Really no good options. So let's get her down here. It's full cover. Still doesn't see them. That's interesting. Okay, so I could suppress him. But is that such a good thing? Um, I feel like I should just shoot at him and hurt him a little bit. But it won't kill him. So I think suppression might be the best just to get his aim down. 
And there's the other mail just on the other side there. We don't know the turn number. I hope that doesn't make it so he's... Okay, what... Ah, he missed. Oh, he's got really good aim, too, so that really sucks. Okay, please be gentle. 13 damage, yikes. Okay, if that other sectoid does something good, this could be bad. Alright. I don't remember how much he had. Oh my god, he's only got 6 hit points left. Okay. Um, he's the medic, so he should be able to... Wait, repair ship? What? Oh, uh, I gave him the stun gun. Okay. Um, let's see here. So we need to get an eye on that other sectoid. Nothing's in Overwatch, so I feel like if I come here like this, aye, aye, you know, get this door opened by somebody else. 61. Okay. Let's run out with him. I don't think anyone's on Overwatch. Okay. So many hit points. And that suppression did nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, Peyton, do you see something now? No, you don't. Damn. Okay, she can run and gun and do a lot of damage. I need to get rid of that shield, though. How about you? Let me get down here and check out this situation, will you? You see how many, how much is on here, and it was just a small UFO. That was because I brought it down with the. Although it does still look like it has a hard crash, but you get more loot when you do it in this situation. Only 40% for that guy. I should probably be able to get a grenade out to him. Let's see if. That might give Peyton an open look. Or kill it. And it did neither. 100%, 61%. Ah. 60% for that guy. I guess let's take this. Ah, oh, don't miss again. Don't miss again. Ah, dang. Okay. Awkward situation time. Gotta get up here. I do not want Tyler to die, so I might either ghost if I can, or just straight up run away. Moving out. Uh, I just don't like that I can't do anything about that shield. What great placement that it had this turn. Um, aye, aye. I don't really know why I moved there, but I feel like being able to have cover in two separate areas is fine. I mean, I guess I'm going to do this. I don't know if it matters. And uh, did I really not bring a medikit on this mission? I don't think I did, which is just stupid. Okay, let's see if you can hit. Nope. Adjusting sight. Okay, if he shoots it, Tyler, Tyler's dead, so I need to kind of get out of here with him. Um, I could suppress, but that didn't work out so well last time, so let's get him out of here. Okay. Not so bad. He can do two, just like Brian does. 17 damage already. Yikes. I hope Brian doesn't stay in the hospital long just because I'm trying to train people up. Very good. I'm pinned down here. Yeah, I uh, don't really care about that right now. 100% to shoot. Um, I want to try to get a view on that other stupid sectoid, so let's come over here. I'm on the move. Oh yes. Oh yes, you are dead, my man. There's only a couple points left on that shield, but at least we got that. And Captain Rozier is now a major. Let's uh, get a little closer with you. See if we can't do better damage. Nope. 
same percentage anyway. Let's hit him. Though. Thank you. Okay, now Brian can run in for a punching kill, but let's try to get the kill with other people first. Uh, well, she can just run up into his face. And since she's not hurt at all, I really don't feel like it's such a bad thing to put myself in front of a sectoid. So, uh... Yeah, since I know I will be able to kill it, let's let's just do this. Switch to the alloy cannon. I made that mistake before, only with bro uh, Austin's sniper. Okay. Yeah, I'll shoot you with that. Okay, two damage to go. You. Let's see if you can hit him this time. Three chances at 60% by... Okay. Guess I should have taken one of those turns to run with you, huh? Okay, we're gonna have to finish off the sectoid. Let's see. Oh, we could have Tyler do this. And have Brian go for the sectoid. He should have a good look here. Yes, 100%. You're dead. And we should have the weapon fragments we need after this mission. Now let's have Brian run in there and get a sure kill. His collateral damage might be able to take this out, but I don't want to be stupid about it. 94%. Okay, good. And that was it. Only seven aliens. Seems weird considering how deep in the game we are, but I'm not going to complain there. I, uh, with two mectoids, it actually wasn't all that easy. Better than Exalt ever did to me. I like how that... So yeah, the time goes while you're doing these, so sometimes stuff finishes. So I think that means all the firestorms are loaded up, ready to go. Okay, we got... Yeah, Peyton is a major, so I could give her the mimetic skin and she'd be pretty much just like Austin. Aim is not quite as good, but it's really good. Uh, everybody got pretty bad will, I feel like. It's probably because these are all the starting people, though. Uh, Tyler will be gone for three days. And... Who is, oh, she was the heavy. She got no kills. She did a lot of damage, though, so she should have got some sort of credit. But oh well. Uh, let's go to that situation room and sell anything that... Like these mectoid cores, just anything that I can't use. And yeah, see, no damaged goods because I shut it down with the EMP. So, uh, I'm just gonna sell them. I guess I, I mean, I don't need as many other corpses, but I don't need as much money as I have anymore either. At least I'm pretty sure I don't. We research, yeah, we're researching nothing, so let's, I guess, do the last thing here. Pretty sure this is all the research left in the game, although I don't know. Um, definitely all I have to choose from. Let's see, Foundry, Stealth Satellites. I mean, is this even useful? I'd like to go for that, but I need even more weapon fragments, and I need heavy floater corpses for this advanced repair, so... I mean, I don't think I want to use the shiv until I get this plasma gun, so that's gonna have to take that, so... Use explosive as least as possible. I've got 15 of them. So I need 15 more. And then, uh... I mean, should I even bother with this? Uh, alloys... Well, it doesn't take, uh, weapon fragments, so I might consider this. Three UFO flight computers, just good lord. I guess I'll do it just to eventually get the I've done everything in the foundry achievement. But I've got very few Illyrium and alloys left now. Um, let's continue on then. Uh, let me just make sure everything's good in the hangar. We got. Yeah, we got a demon in every single continent with an EMP cannon. The ravens with their phoenix cannons, even though I shouldn't ever have to use them. I mean, I guess I could put EMP cannons on them too, but I should never have to get to the point where I use them. Uh, speaking of that, let me go ahead and buy some 
Uh, yeah, like this. Uh, get two of them just in case something horrible happens. Uh, UFO tracking. I don't have the cyber disk Rex for that, so we should be good there. That should be all I need anyway, so let's go back and continue on with this. Uh, and I mean, I have no other research I can do. Let's see if this does anything, but... Oh, Shiv Laser Project. Not that I want it. Laser Cannon. Railgun. Railgun must have been for Brian. Oh, I guess I did miss out on a lot not doing the lasers, but I feel like the game got easier really early because I skipped... Yeah, that's for Brian. Or that's for Brian. The other one was, uh for interceptors and such. So yeah, all done with research projects. Let's go back to the foundry and see if I can... Uh, see, it kind of weapon fragments. I don't want to do it yet, because I'd rather have the plasma. So yeah, we'll wait there. Okay, well, so there's a laser version for Brian's weapons, but I feel like the way I did it was actually pretty good. I mean, it was kind of like I fell into that way of it, so... I mean, I half planned it out. That's kind of how this game that goes, though. You gotta react to what's thrown at you. Amplifying the body's natural electromagnetic field oh, this is charity. Soldiers to detect nearby enemies without visual input. Very nice. And she can't be strangled or anything, either. So she's back, which is nice, because now I can start upgrading her Psy abilities. It's, uh, it's a Psy testing in four days. Oh, okay. Wait, Continuing on what do you story. do? Shut it down. Do not touch anything. This could be what we've been waiting for. And it blows up. X comes over. It's ripping itself apart. Shut it down now. It could destroy the whole base. Nine. Give it time. For once. Trust me. What's it doing now? It's... working. Sir, new data is inbound from the hyperwave uplink. This gamble seems to have paid off. But we've endangered the lives of everyone involved to satisfy the doctor's curiosity. Uh -huh. The risk was worth the reward. If we hadn't pushed on, there's no way we would have gotten this information. Okay, so now I need to bring down the Overseer UFO and assault it. Uh, I could do that right now. Let's see. Yeah, th this won't end the game or put me on a sort of no turning back situation yet, so... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and bring this down. Because I feel like... I mean, I've got all the weapons and armor available in the game. At least all the best stuff. I guess I could upgrade the shiv. Okay, I should be able to bring this down no problem with the firestorm with an EMP cannon, but we have eyes on the I'll mouse over the dodge just in case. Aim should not be a problem at all. Oh, it's gonna run away. Oh my god. Never mind. So yeah, I do need to worry about a little bit there. Okay. We have Ethereals, we have Mutant Elites, we have a Sectopod. The A-Team is coming on this. These are all things I haven't encountered on this playthrough yet, although I have encountered them in Enemy Unknown. And uh, I need to capture a Mutant Elite. I would like to capture the Ethereal, but there's only going to be one in there, and they are difficult to capture. Um, there's also an achievement for mind-controlling one, but I don't have those capabilities yet. And Sectopods, well... They're basically, like, really tanky, and they can do a lot of damage. And let's just go. Okay, my A-Team, I don't know if it's available, considering I've got some people in Psy testing. So, okay, Jake is available, because he tested negative, unfortunately. Michaela is available. Brian, he's not going to be able to go in for it anyway. 
And uh, I need to try to use her Psy abilities when I can. I don't know what levels it up, if it's kills with it or just using it. I hope it's just using it, because that's all I'm really going to be able to do. So who are we missing here? We're missing Austin. Ah, dang. Three days left, too. Oh, well. Um, I could go ahead and bring another... Let's see, two snipers feels like a little much on a UFO mission, so I don't think I'll do that. So I might bring either Tyler or... Because I feel like bringing another Colonel is... I, I don't need to do that. Two heavies wouldn't be bad, though. Um, my other heavy is a squatty, so that is not going to happen. Um, I know these people are probably psionics, so maybe I should consider bringing them. So I've already got... Let's see, I could bring two supports, I could bring two assaults. I don't think I want to bring the other sniper. So, let's see here. Um, let's go with two supports. Okay, so... Actually, let, let me go first to last on these ranks here. Make all items available. Okay. Man, if only we had Austin, we'd be absolutely ready to go here. I don't think it'll matter. And we do need to make sure people are bringing arc throwers on this. The respirator implant. He's good to go. Next. Okay. Uh, Titan armor for you. You get all the works. Her aim uh, never really... Um, I think when, at the beginning, cause now that I've been watching the early videos a little bit, her aim never really improved throughout... I mean, maybe it did. It doesn't seem like it went up that much. So I think she got kind of unlucky on her promotions. But, oh well. Every colonel is pretty good. Let's get you in there. And I want you in Titan. Uh, I mean, Ghost would still be good for her, but I feel like it's... Most of the abilities of Ghost she already has, just with her gene mods. Uh, scope you up, and you are taking the Arc Thrower. Also... I should consider the... Now, she'll never be close because she's slow, so... I might consider it with either... Or one of these two is going to take it. I think I'm going to give it to Charity, considering I'm going to give her the ghost armor. So, it's plasma rifle you up. Plasma pistol. Uh, scope is a little much for you. And... I am going to give you the arc thrower, because you'll be in the ghost armor, and Lieutenant here won't. Well, if anyone is going to die, I guess I'd rather it be him, but we know he's psionic. So, well, let's just do the obvious. Titan armor you up. Plasma, plasma. Uh, did I give you the mid upgrade? Yes, I did. And I guess you could use a scope. Let me just make sure I wouldn't rather... Okay. We'll go all offensive here. Okay, so. Are we ready to go? See, Brian is already ready to go there. I don't need to edit him ever. So yeah, we got two arc throwers. I feel like we should be able to get a Muton Elite if we really want to. So uh, let's head out with this group. How about... Yeah, I feel like Jake having the grenade makes him be able to protect himself easier. So let's go with this team. And let's collect some weapon fragments. That's the main thing I'm excited about. Dropship has arrived. See, so yeah, basically, the only one that needs promoted to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Is the support that's not charity. The bogey came down hard in a remote uh -huh. area just outside of a small town. We should deploy and eliminate any hostile. So I need to prioritize kills for him, and I also need to have Charity use her mind fray, which will level that up. And been eventually, she'll be able to use. Technology. Mind so control or too soon. Whatever they've gotten there is crucial to their invasion effort. We should expect heavy resistance. They're not going to make this easy on us. 
Right, yeah, so there is a lot of them. There was like 19 or something. It might be because I brought it down with an EMP cannon, so I do need to be careful about this. I wish I had Austin to have like my perfect team, but uh, I don't even, depending on all the psionic abilities, that might not even be my perfect team. I guess we'll end up seeing what happens. But uh, I'll play this part on the next part, and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.